This video shows how to utilize and set up the RS-45 DMX outputs on the AlphaPix controller line. The AlphaPix 16 shown here has a three RS-45 outputs and the AlphaPix 4 has a single output. Now let's first talk about why these are useful. These outputs, which are dedicated, unlike other controllers which make you use your pixel outputs or SPI outputs, these dedicated RS-45 outputs allow you to control an additional three universes of legacy-based controllers. An example might be if you had a mega tree and you were using the SPI outputs to drive your standard pixels, and then let's say that you had a three channel or a smaller controller like our easy picks controller at the top of your mega tree with a pixel star or maybe you have a few old uh, arches or other items that use RS-45 based DMX controllers these are all great applications for using these additional outputs essentially what this does is it makes this unit have three additional dongles or RS-45 outputs. Now, it's important to not short any of these, inject power into them. Uh, they could be damaged. Uh, the plugs themselves are removable. We can simply pull them off. And the reason they're not a particular kind of plug, such as XLR, is because this allows you to use the type of cabling that is specific to your application. For example, if your device is a legacy device that uses XLR 3-pin, you simply take an XLR cable and connect the cable into here. If you're using 5-pin, same thing. Or if you use the very common RS or uh, CAT5 cable, you will be able to use that with this also. Now, on the controller board, there are indications for RS-45, and there's an individual per pin output, and they're labeled here DMX positive, DMX negative, and then finally ground. So, on the website is information about what the positive and negatives mean and how they relate to different pins. So, check our website for the AlphaPix technical support page for information about the exact physical wiring of these and interfacing with different types of uh, XLR plugs or Cat5 plugs. So, once you have hooked these up, they need to be set up in the controller. You can only do this from the web interface. So we've pulled up the web interface here. And if we scroll down, we'll see that for the AlphaPix 16, we have three output configurations. Now, they are marked. There is a DMX3, 2, and 1. And you can see that on the board itself. What you first need to do is you need to pick a universe that is not currently assigned up here or ideally are on any other controller in your network. So we've used 31 here. We'll just pick a random number like DMX Universe 50. We'll set to enable it by checking off the enable for output 1. So what this means is that this particular plug on this controller will have DMX addressing from 1 through 512 on DMX Universe 50. We simply hit set and that's it. Just connect your DMX devices on a chain. They can be daisy chained and you can go out and drive those devices. This is another advantage of the AlphaPix controller.